Children's shows come and go. At one time or another, every commercial TV station in this area has had one. Only Hatchy Malachi remains as a locally produced program. It's only one of nine nationwide that features a person as the host instead of simply an hour of cartoons. Well, good morning, boys and girls. How are you this morning? It's been on the air here, with the exception of a five-year break, since 1958. For 20 of those years, Miss Judy has been the program's host. There's a wonderful place that you really should see called the land of Hatchy Malachi. It's pretty clear from some early photos that she, like our business, has changed over those same years, but one thing hasn't, that smile of hers. It's in her pictures, it's on the show. The children don't turn in to see me cry or to see me in a bad mood or uh, to be unpleasant. And I try never to let any of that show. Well, well, I think you since... just met the captain just a few minutes ago when we did. Right, boys and girls? Pshaw. Pshaw yourself. Pshaw. I mean, after all, you know I'm a great helper. I miss him so. But there was one time when the smile faded. Alfie, the tiny elf we see only on recordings today, died suddenly. Miss Judy talked to kids then about death and what it meant and what it was like to lose a good friend. When Alfie died, his daughter had this beautiful marker put on his grave and she put an epitaph on it and it says, his eyes saw beauty, his talents brought joy. And I think that kind of describes, you know, his philosophy and our philosophy here. Miss Judy! Miss Judy! Today, there's a whole new population of characters to laugh with, new costumes, new sets, and now a new time. As it happens in television, nothing lasts forever, except maybe the way some of us do what we do. I think we all have to do something that makes us feel good about ourselves. You know, especially when you're very blessed, as thank God I have been, you feel an obligation to give back to someone some of the joy and blessings that have you have shared. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. I'm Mike Stevens, Newswatch 16.